my wonderful spirit guides. Today I'm going to be reacting to Caroline Polacek and her seven new songs that she has added to Desire I Want to Turn Into You. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's been a year, well just over a year since she came out with the album Desire I Want to Turn Into You and now she's come up with seven new songs to add to it. I wonder if it'll fit the theme of the album. I also wonder if they were songs that she recorded over the year or she recorded them before the album. I don't know the situation. I'm just excited to get into it. If you want to watch this completely uncut, please do go over to Patreon. It helps fund the channel. It helps fund my life. It, it really just helps everything uh, to do with the channel and me. So um, if you could do that, that would be amazing. But if you can't, don't worry. Just like, comment, share, subscribe, all those lovely things. Links for everything in the description, such as TikTok and Instagram. So yeah, check it all out. Also, just wanted to comment on the look today. If you don't follow me on Instagram, maybe you know what this is, or maybe you don't know what this is. If you've seen the movie X, you probably know what this look is. So it is inspired by Mia Goth in the movie X. I only watched it last night. I'm not really a slasher film kind of person, but I remember watching the trailer and it being like an awesome aesthetic and the acting looked pretty good. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to watch it. Um, so that's what I've done. And then I fell in love with the makeup look that Mia had. So had to emulate it somehow. I did it my own way, but, um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Oh, also I'm wearing Ben Shout's merch. He's come out with some merch. He's got caps, he's got hoodies, he's got t-shirts. It's really cool. And also it's super comfortable, super cozy, fit perfectly in the size that I wanted. So yeah, check it out. And if you don't know who Ben is, he is another reactor on YouTube who is actually a pretty good friend of mine now, even though we've never met in person. I don't, I, do you know what? This is the first friend I've ever had that I've not actually met in person that I actually could say is a good friend of mine. Like, honestly, it's kind of crazy, but he is. Like, we just click, we connect, we just, we vibe, we get each other. And I love it. So yeah, happy to rep the merch. But anyway, let's get into it. First song is called Dang. Let's go. Dang. 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 What? Pull up like a shipwreck in reverse. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Oh. Mary Poppins open up the purse like I, I do. do. Yeah, I do. Oh, I love this. Ooh, so many interesting things happening. Dang. 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 Always running late, but boy, I'm on time for. It's giving me a little bit of a hundred gex, you know. <laughs> just because it's so rhythmic and playful. It's my face, it's just a face, yeah, with the cheeks turning red. That is cool. That is really cool. Like, yeah, I didn't even know what to like. I was just watching it, listening to it. it it's like so, everything feels bite-sized. Like you could eat them. It's like candy, you know? Like you're just like popping candies into your mouth. Like, like it's got a bite-sized feeling because it's so rhythmic and like compartmentalized in each sound. And then you might get a little bit of bass that like runs through like more, a little bit more legato and smooth, but for the most part, it is just interesting sounds. Very 100 Gex in that way, but Super Caroline Polo check and the way she's done it, of course. I really like that. Okay, but moving on. I don't want to go too into it because I haven't got actually a lot to say about it. I just, 
overwhelm, overwhelming in a way. <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. Right, we now have spring is coming with a strawberry in the mouth. Okay. Dear Louise, there are so many things I want, but mainly, and like everybody, I want, I want, I want, I want to be loved. Super experimental. Don't you think it's been such a long time since I was in love? Okay, yeah, so that one's still just as experimental as the last, but a lot more um, melodic in places. But yeah, it had like such a sense of horror in so many parts, like tension, but then you'd get like that bass come in, that legato bass, and also those high vocals, like that are so heavenly and sweet. It was like very, yeah, it was creepy, like scary, but also really bright and exciting and cheerful I can actually imagine like I was just like when I closed my eyes I imagined her um dress that she wore at the Grammys I think it was and it's like the volcano-y dress I could imagine her kind of you know when she's singing those high bits I could imagine her kind of like coming out the top of the volcano all like in white kind of like this purity and like beauty of like uh new beginnings spring coming and like coming out of this volcano uh, I don't know. Actually, there's a lot to say for that in a way. Like maybe seasonal depression sort of thing. You know what I mean? Like maybe you spent so long in that volcano with the depression of the winter and then coming out and it being all about new beginnings and rebirthing um, and so on like that. Because it still had that tropical sound to it that gave me like that island feel that very much fits the album for sure. Um, also the references like blood and butter and so on like that that was cool also who's Daniel dear Daniel because actually that just made me think of that song from Bat for Lashes called dear Daniel is it called that and is it Bat for Lashes I think so but I uh, maybe I'll check it out in editing but um yeah it's, it's an interesting one it's hard for me to like I don't know why I'm just like not in like the I, I'm a bit overwhelmed I think because after doing this whole makeup look I'm like and I've done loads of millions of Instagram pictures and all sorts. I'm just a bit like, all right, okay, right. We're, we're getting into the music now. And I'm taking it all in, but like, that's all I'm doing. I'm taking it all in and not much else. But yeah, she also says, dear Louise, there are so many things I want, but mainly, and I like everybody I want, I want to be loved. Don't you think, dear Louise, that because I think I have a light heart, it's been such a long time since I was in love. Oh, spring is coming with a strawberry in the mouth. I wonder what that means, like the strawberry in the mouth. Like, 
is it is it because it's like a sweet red fruit that is you know desirable and it's is it meant to like mean love like spring is coming with a gift of love I don't know and what I want is to walk beside you walk beside you need nothing but the sun that's in our eyes paint the picture in blood and butter holy water fire in the sky spring is coming yeah there, there's like there is desire there there's desire to be in love and as spring comes she has hope and she's almost like she's manifesting some love maybe but anyway, moving on, we now have Butterfly Net, Feet Wise Blood. Okay, so Butterfly Net is like still probably my favourite song from Desire I Want to Turn Into You. Um, and now with Wise Blood, I can only imagine that's going to be beautiful with her vocals as well. So let's go. I need to get a drink in a minute, but I'll listen to this first. Earth went silent, London fell asleep. So gentle. She dreamed of a winter where you appeared to me. A tender creature, a fever, disarming, fluorescent. There you were, with your mirror. Exactly what I wanted to hear. sound so beautiful Heavenly. Oh, but I have to go back to this moment. Hardly forgetting they were. There I was. One more time. Hardly Sorry. forgetting they were. In that 
that moment, I can literally see like white doves flying into space, but then I can also see mermaids like just swimming under the water really fast at the same time. So it's literally like white doves in space and like under, but still space, but there's water. And it's just these mermaids like swimming, just like total freedom, like flying, swim, swimming, you know, like how fishes can swim and birds can fly. It's like such a free feeling. Oh, so beautiful. Ah, oh, wow. I love that. And I loved how it was like so like pulled back for most of it. Well, the whole thing was very pulled back to be fair. But like even in the ending though, as it came in with a bit more of like a little little bit of rhythm and so on. Um, and then cut away and just to like vocal moments and like certain weird sound. I don't all of it was a moment it was so special and I love that we get another version of that song and it's interesting to me because like you know she's saying she wants love I felt like in her desire I want to turn into you there was like quite a lot of hope around love like she'd found love in a way um and then you know hearing this it sounds a little bit more maybe more melancholy I don't know I don't know if it's I want to say melancholy there's like a hoping for love once again almost or maybe the love is lost and it's like reminiscing over it. it's more of a reprise like maybe like a there's kind of pain in it I don't know I don't know if I'm making any sense here yeah I don't know if I'm making any sense there but I don't know in some weird way it does feel like love lost and this is kind of like being sang again in this beautiful kind of pulled back way it's almost like a motif, you know, like, yeah, like it's playing once again, but the story has changed. And that's why the sound is a little bit more different, a little bit more pulled back. Like I said, yeah, maybe. But um, yeah, I'm just going to quickly grab myself a drink. There I was with my butterfly Right, anyway, you know, got myself a beverage. I've been recently really enjoying, because I was doing San Peregrino, San Peregrino, Aranciato Rosa. I was really into that one for a while. Uh, well, not even a while, like a couple of months. But then, then I discovered Clementine juice. And my goodness, a bit of Clementine juice with a bit of sparkling water just to give it a fizz. Absolutely stunning choice of drink there it's like because orange juice can sometimes be a little too like hmm not bitter but like strong just like you know it's got like that real like you know but this one is how it's more smooth and sweet but still like super refreshing yeah <laughs> yeah anyway we now have Meanwhile, meanwhile, Firm and Fern was getting a drink. All the, um, I don't know. Oh, I'm not creative today. I've already put, I've already done too much creating today. I can't, I can't, yeah. Meanwhile, while Fern was getting a drink, the room stayed stagnant. There was no hauntings and nothing fun. No teddies coming to life. No toys coming to life. It was stagnant. And that's a harsh reality, guys. All right? Quit dreaming. Quit your fantasies. They don't exist. Anyway, let's go on to Meanwhile. <laughs> Horrible. Well, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Weird. Right, let's go. How do you know if a volcano is dead or just patient? Mm. Interesting. Like me. High above in the second sea, our bath water never cools. Mm. 
shivers. Both halves of this severed rock will crumble to sand. For if a thing can live, then it can also die. Meanwhile, walk beside me with the unretraceable path of God's lightning back to God. That was haunting. Kind of like I heard the vocals in the background definitely gave me a little siren feel again. Yeah, a mournful lament. But anyway, now we've got coma. vocals in this one oh so like mesmerizing beep. Beep. weird i definitely want to look into this one a little because that that beeping beep beep that definitely makes me think of a hospital right and and it's i don't know why i keep bloody bringing it up like this is the third album uh, set of songs that i've heard third video i've done this year where i've mentioned a sound reminding me of a hospital okay but this one it, no it's even weirder because the ones before that they, they shouldn't remind me of hospitals they, they you know what i mean they shouldn't they just do but this one feels like it's intentionally meant to sound like that so that's even weirder that two videos this year i've already brought up sounds that sound like I, and I say remind me of hospitals maybe it was all for this moment <laughs> maybe I was uh, you know that was happening to lead me to this moment where it would actually be a song that definitely has like a hospital you know heart monitor sound sort of thing that's so weird and like it makes me think is she on about 
maybe someone she loves or is it like because she says she feels like she's in a coma is that why the heart monitors there like she feels like she's in a coma in hospital or is it that someone maybe is like passed away and she feels like she's in a dream she feels like it, you know she's kind of having an out-of-body experience processing the grief maybe but then she says if this is a dream I don't want to wake up maybe she's just in love maybe she's just happy maybe she is just happy and she doesn't want to wake up and what I thought was interesting about it though was like maybe it's drug induced as well okay just hear me out they had all those beautiful lullaby sounds that were like shimmering and so delicate and gentle but then you had that drum and bass style garage style drum that was so fast paced and aggressive actually that kind of maybe could resemble a heart rate maybe taking a drug like a love drug where you know you feel absolutely lovey-dovey but your heart is racing because of course it's a stimulant could be to do with that as well or maybe she's like it's that feeling of being in love where your heart races because you know you've got butterflies and you feel nervous and excited um and it all feels like everything's happening so fast and but at this point she just feels like she's floating she's in a dream she's like this fast life she's living or like fast whatever she's doing is fast and it's making her feel like it's a dream because everything's just going so fast but it's also so it's good and fast it's not bad and fast it's like good and fast exciting and it's like she's living her dream life there's something going on there I love that though maybe I'll look on genius um if anything is said it is a cover of pharmacoma for ben diet diet Deets by default genders. It also interpolates lyrics from her own song Hope Drunk Ever Asking from the same album. Caroline Prodicek stated on Instagram that Coma, along with Springer's Coming of a Strawberry in, my, in the Mouth, is one of the songs she was addicted to and inspired by while well, making Desire I Want to Turn Into You. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, I think everything I said kind of makes sense. It could be about being in love, being in love with herself, a person, her life, something, the sense of love there and it feeling absolutely amazing. But right, moving on, we now have Gambler's Prayer. Which makes sense with that very earthy kick, bassy sound. Ooh. And all this like field recording of stuff. dark to light dark to light such complex sound design mmm that 
they're so interesting. Like it's got it's such meticulous like producing though, you know, like the production. Like it's just it's just like even in the small details of like when she said I think she said for now at one point, but it's not when she went for now. But it was a bit where she went, Oh, for now. Or I don't know. But anyway, it was like within one of the syllables, it like within one of the notes, which wasn't that long, it literally went had like a space of it sounding like completely airy and it wasn't her doing her vocal. Or maybe but I okay. And I, can't accept. I don't know, but even that bit, and I can accept did they reverse the reverb on it? And I can't can you hear accept. that? And I can accept it. Like, there's so many details. I could click on any bit and there'll be something. I also love that when, uh, oh, for now. Like, it'll be like really bright and sort of like, uh, you know, brighter and like pretty. And then for now kind of plunges you into that darkness. And it really has that feeling of for now, you know, because everything could change, you know? You've got this for now, but it could change. But actually, let me look into the lyrics just to know what I'm working with here. Smoke in my hair from the po protest flares for now, but I'm still not sovereign from you. That's interesting, but I'm still not sovereign. Is she trying to use that in like two ways, like suffering or sovereign? I don't know, maybe I'm getting a bit wild with that. Maybe she's, or maybe sovereign meaning like I'm not solid or I'm not, I'm not a rock. I'm not sovereign. Not, I don't know. Anyway, the concept of smoke in your hair from the protest flares could be a reference to the speaker protesting in this relationship they don't want to be in and want out and away or are just unhappy. The idea of smoke implies a fallout or a fight, meaning the fight between these two are still letting the smoke settle. However, a speaker is not separate yet. They have not gained sovereignty. 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 Sovereignty from their partner and still remain in a relationship with them for now. Wait, what does that mean then? It means independence, autonomy, self-government. Oh, I had no idea. I thought it was like a ring, like a sovereign. But I'm still not separate from you, basically. I'm still not, you know, independent from you for now. See, I was right about it feeling like everything could change. Like, yeah, maybe it's like this for now, but it is just for now until everything could change in, in a heartbeat. So yeah, I was right about that before looking into the lyrics. The bus arrives fast. I sit upstairs alone. I can hardly breathe knowing you're near for now. Oh, but I whisper a gambler's prayer, throwing a thousand-sided die. Oh, that I find you in the faces out the window, but they're not yours for now. Okay, maybe she misses them. Maybe she has gotten away and now she misses them. Like she wants to be able to find their face in a window of maybe like I can imagine she lives in a city or something like and there's thousands of faces that pass and she wants to catch them it says here the speaker is throwing their die taking a chance on hope that they will find this person outside of the window they want to find them and are willing to gamble with the odds in a fact yeah 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 yeah. all right desaturated crowd scene from a gladly forgotten dream oh okay so maybe this is actually talk about a dream like desaturated crowd scene so maybe like in her dream she had a crowd that was in black and white or something and usually crowds there's so much color there's vibrancy there's life maybe it being in black and white gives it like a dull effect maybe a bit more of like a everyone being like robots or numb or something and um, from a gladly forgotten dream no she's saying for now and i can't accept that this is what's left for us okay so i wonder what that i'm gonna click it Calling on Caroline's previous song with Chairlift, crying in public, the idea of a desaturated crowd scene could be the public that once experiences during a highly emotional moment, crying in public says, I'm sorry I'm causing a scene on the train, I'm falling for you, I'm falling for you, which could be one way to interpret the desaturated crowd scene. The speaker, however, gladly forgets this, meaning that this person who has left our speaker has left such a hole in the speaker that they want to forget all the memories that follow with their relationship. This could also say that the dream of this happiness in this relationship is forgotten and lost, gladly forgotten. And she can't accept that this is what's left for that for us. So yeah, you know, she's hoping for love with her songs like the strawberry in the mouth, spring with a strawberry. 
spring onions and strawberries and so on. <laughs> um, you know, she's hoping for love because this love is dying, whatever this is. Yeah, okay. Right, we now have one last one and it is, I believe, acoustic version. Oh, I'm excited to hear this actually. A little bit of an acoustic version. acoustic for all the songs oh my god her voice will just never not shock me Do you know what? I think it's so beautiful that she did do an acoustic version of this song in particular, though. Um, number one, I remember I didn't love it on first listen, the original. Obviously, I know it's for and a, for Sophie, basically, and somewhat about Sophie. Absolutely. So having that as an acoustic version is just so, you know, even more meaningful. Just more like stripped back more serious about it too like obviously it's serious having the original song but i don't know it's just like adding to it even more like an extra devotion of love is what i'm saying and on a raw more raw level in a sense of it being acoustic because obviously acoustic always is a bit more raw right you've got all the instruments playing you can hear what they're all doing you can there's real people playing them all you know everyone has a different instrument and whatever and it's also more intimate, so I think that's very special to have that one as an acoustic in particular, for sure. But um, yeah, I think I like that version more than the original, which isn't shocking to me, but wow, beautiful and meaningful and so good to end it. On that one, yeah, she definitely wanted to do that for a reason, and it's a good reason. Um, so yeah, beautiful. But yeah, let me know what you thought of these seven tracks. Let me know what your favourite was. I'd have to say my favourite 
might be I oh um I really did like the butterfly net with wise blood, but obviously that's what's the one that was like maybe coma. I really enjoyed coma. Gambler's prayer was brilliant too. Oh, do you know what? It's hard. Oh, Dang was good too. I forgot about Dang. Oh, it's hard. I don't know. Let me know what your favourite song. I'm going to have to think on mine. I'm going to just say the Butterfly Net with Wise Blood at the moment, but that's because Butterfly Net was my favourite original song as well. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me know what your faves are. Um, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, um, become a Patreon if you can. Really, 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 truly does help. And I shall see you next time. Bye.